From WCPO 9, it's a new day. Good morning and welcome back. I'm Myra Cates. This morning, I am bringing back a great mentor that has been empowering underserved at-risk youth. Please welcome Glenn Taylor III, founder and CEO of Mashori Mentoring Program. Thank you so much for joining us again. Oh, no problem. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. Now, I always say that it takes a village to raise children, but you say that you believe in the village way of life. What do you mean by that? Mashori is Swahili for um, a mentor, advocate, um, somebody that speaks up for you. He come from a village in Africa. So that's kind of where we get it from. I grew up uh, with the village where life is. If I was walking down the street and I threw a rock, my neighbor was allowed to correct me. Okay. Nowadays, if we walk down the street and throw a rock, it'd be a problem for someone saying something to a kid for doing something wrong. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not okay to correct other people's kids these days. Now, tell us a little bit more about Mashori Mentoring Program. What type of services do you guys offer? Mashori Mentoring Program, we offer group mentoring, financial literacy. We actually just partner with two companies to be able to build their medical insurance for them to have cognitive behavior counseling. We pretty much do everything in group because we want parents to be safe uh, just a lot of stuff going on with like yeah. famous people and kids yeah. and stuff. So we try to do everything is to like a three or four to one yeah. to make people feel safe and comfortable that their child is in a safe place. That's totally understandable. And why do you think some of these services like the cogn cognitive uh, behavior health uh, counseling, why do you think those things are important for these children? I think it's important because the kids need an outlet of somebody to talk to other than their parents. Sometimes kids, like, if you think about what's going on downtown, a lot of those kids just down there hanging out trying to fit in. Yeah. They need an outlet to be able to talk to somebody to figure out what they can do outside of trying to be cool and hang downtown. Yeah. Because they, they post the negative stuff that the kids do, but they never post anything positive of what our kids are doing. Like, they want to post the six or seven kids that's actually fighting mm -hmm. out of the crowd of two, three hundred. Yeah. But nobody ever posts how uh, we got, what, over 400 and some kids who just signed letters of intent for college scholarships for sports. Yeah. Nobody talk about the positive stuff. And one thing that we try to do um, in our program is every Sunday we have the kids um, and their parents post something positive about themselves on social media. Well, oh, that's amazing. Now, you guys are offering a summer program, right? Mm -hmm. Well, tell us about summer program. What can parents expect their children to be doing? Mr. Mashari, it's a summer camp we started. We, we, we trialed it last year. It went pretty good. So this year, um, the cost is actually $2,000. Okay. I know it might sound expensive, but that includes a 12-week, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30, summer camp. We go to Kings Island on Monday, the zoo on Tuesday, Wednesday, we go swimming and it's recreation day. Thursday would be our education day where we stay in the office. And Friday, we would go on a field trip downtown to explore like the museum center and stuff like this. That includes the Kings Island Gold Pass. That includes the zoo pass. That includes the swimming pass and the recreation pass. And it also includes um, any fees or anything for the field trips awesome. that we go on outside of Kings Island. And I'm, that's every week we're doing this. Okay. Um, our education day, we actually rolling out, um, we're trying to change the narrative. Our biggest thing right now is change the narrative of how people view African Americans in Cincinnati. Yeah. Part of us doing that is not focusing on um, Black History Month just in February, but we are trying to roll out, um, it's called Roots African American Heritage. Um, that'll be the first part we do every Thursday where somebody will come out and speak to the kids about where we from and what we can do if we know who we are. Okay. Or we'll have um, literature and stuff for the kids to go through. Well, that's amazing. Now, do you guys offer any type of help uh, for funding the $2,000? Yes, ma'am. So um, anybody, if you need any, if you would like your kid to participate, please contact us. Um, we have a popcorn fundraiser that'll run until May 15th for you to be able to raise the money. If there's a situation where we still have a spot left in May 15th, we will still let the kid participate, but it just had to be a contract saying, sign saying that the money will be raised. Um, we're also looking for sponsors and donors to be able to help okay. some kids who can't afford the summer camp. It's a million summer camps out there, but there's not too many summer camps like ours. Our kids are not 
just having somewhere to go, but we're actually giving them mentoring, financial literacy, teaching them about their heritage, giving them something to do, yes. teaching them about uh, it's a consequence for every action. Yeah. And we're also not just their summer camp. The parents actually have to be involved in a weekly Zoom to check on their child. We give progress reports, complete a survey every week, and um, do an assessment every two weeks to see how far along their child is coming in our program. You guys are also offering some sort of Mother's Day program? Yeah, so we still have every Sunday, it's called Mother's Break Day, it's actually free. We just ask that you go to our website, go to the events, and register so we can know how much food or snacks we need for each kid to sign up. It's free. We go to church from 9.30 to 3 at Corinthians Baptist Church, and then we'll either go on a field trip or do something educational from 12 to 3. Well, that's amazing. Now, where can people go for more information? Um, MashariMentor.com. Or you can call us at 513-253-3109. All right. Well, thank you so much, Glenn, for joining us again. We appreciate you being here. And good luck with that summer camp. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun.